Hey, it's Michael, and this is part two, I'm sorry it took so long, to uh, tell you about the uh, RSL W25E installation that I did in my room here. As you can see the speakers in the background. So it was kind of a tedious installation because uh, the previous speakers that were in the wall that I took out uh, and replaced with the W25Es were a little bit differently sized. So I actually had to hire a drywall installer in order to uh, patch the center channel, which actually was positioned <laughs> behind the TV uh, because I got a larger TV. So they had a much smaller TV. Now I've got a 75 inch. So we had to patch that hole. Then we had to cut a new hole below the TV to put the new center channel. And then the other two speakers, the left and the right speakers, uh, they were a little too tall for the new speakers. So we had to put about a uh, one inch a spacer, not a spacer, but uh, to fill up one inch of space at the bottom of the speaker. So that all took a few hours and cost me about $400. Uh, but in any case, we got the job done. The guy did a very nice job. Let me just show you the installation in a little more detail. So my drywall guy just left a little while ago. The existing opening where my old speakers were, uh, they were 14 inches. This speaker only requires a 13 inch cutout. So we had to fill in that one inch gap and we did that. And as far as the width goes, my speakers were close enough that we didn't really have to worry too much about that. So we have cut this uh, to size. We, we added the space here, down here. We've repainted the walls, just cleaned up the previous uh, cuts in the drywall. And I'm just waiting for this paint to dry thoroughly. And then I'm gonna place the speaker in there. Now, previously I had my center channel up here and it was a different size than cutout than what I needed for the new speaker. So we had to patch this, which we did and then we cut out a brand new opening using the template, the cardboard template that uh, is provided with the speaker. So we are ready to go here with the installation. We're just waiting for the paint to dry a little bit and uh, can't wait. The W25E mounting arms will accommodate a maximum thickness of three quarter inch drywall. If your walls are thicker than that, then you can use the included shorter mounting arms, which will accommodate up to two inches. So that is really nice that they provide that as an option. Now, as far as mounting these to your drywall, just use your Phillips head screwdriver. As soon as you start to rotate it, the arm will uh, rotate out. And then as you continue screwing in, it'll tighten up to the drywall. So it's really very easy to install these speakers. All right, I'm just about ready to uh, install the speaker. Now, this is the left channel. And since the couch is in the middle of the TV, which is to my right, I want to insert this so that the 15 degree baffle points the speakers towards the couch. And, uh, and then the tweeter, I'm also going to adjust that a little bit. And we can fine tune that if necessary. So here are my binding posts on the back. I've got my red wire right here. And probably helps to have somebody hold this, but I'm gonna to try to do it one-handed. So push the binding post down, insert the wire, make sure it's secure. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the black wire. 
There we have that and make sure you don't have any stray strands that might cross over to the other terminal. Make sure all the tabs are straight and I'm just going to tuck the wires in there. Notice I did put some insulation on the back behind the speaker. Now I'm just going to get my Phillips head screwdriver and for the finishing touch there we have it. Just repeat for the other two speakers. That's it. We're done. So guys, that is the completed installation. Now, I gotta turn it on, see what it sounds like. So a frequently asked question is how do they sound? Well, I have to tell you, compared to the speakers that were in here, and they were just contractor grade speakers basically, these, oh my gosh, they are so much better. First of all, because we have two speakers here, the bass that comes out of these speakers is so much better. I mean, sometimes I don't even think I need my subwoofer, which is way over there behind the chair. But uh, really, the bass that comes out of here is fantastic. I also love the 15 degree angle baffle. Now, when you think about it, any speaker that is just coming straight out, well, you know, there's the speaker. If you're sitting in the middle of the couch and the sound is coming straight out, that means the sound is going this way. And on the other side of the speaker, or the TV, I should say, the sound is going this way. Well, when you have the 15 degree baffle, that sound is being angled right to the optimum seating position. So that makes total sense to me. And furthermore, the tweeter is adjustable. So if you just very carefully go to the edge of the speaker and push it, the tweeter, you can adjust the angle of the tweeter too. Now, to be perfectly honest, I haven't noticed a tremendous amount of difference, but I guess you could, and maybe my hearing isn't as acute as other people's. We also have a minus two decibel switch here that you can uh, set to your liking, and I have mine just set at zero dB. But anyway, uh, the center channel is the same exact speaker uh, as the left and right channels. And so with the center channel, um, I've elected to, since it's below my TV, I've got the speaker set up so that, um, let me get this cover off here. So the, uh, the angle is coming up 15 degrees and maybe it's going over my head slightly, but again, I don't really notice uh, and it just sounds fantastic to me. Now, I also have to say that for some reason, and I think it's partly because of the uh, receiver that I have, uh, the music, just playing music, sounds much better to me than listening to TV through the speakers. But again, I think that's partly to do with the uh, receiver that I have. So let me go give you a quick look at that. All right, so I have a control four system in this house. When we bought this house, this was already pre-installed, and this is basically a 12-year-old system. And quite honestly, it's very expensive to have this worked on. So every time I call up the guy, it's uh, costing me a pretty penny. So I haven't replaced my receiver yet. I have a brand new Sony receiver, but this is the receiver that we've got in here right now. It is a Yamaha RXV2700. Now, I just don't know a whole lot about it, and I don't know how they set it up. I can't even set this up properly for 5.1 or 7.1 sound because I don't have the microphone, and I can't see the uh, display screen. Uh, it doesn't go to my HDTV, so I really have no way to really adjust this right now to optimize the speaker setup. So I've got the new Sony amp, it's the AN1000, and I don't even have it out of the box yet because I just haven't been able to get a hold of my Control 4 guy to install it for me. But once that gets installed, I really uh, hope to have maybe one more follow-up video uh, just to tell you how good these speakers sound.
But there is one thing that I can almost guarantee you, and that is if you have a properly designed listening space uh, or a theater room for your home, it's definitely going to sound even way better than my setup here. And I'll show you why. My house has just got these huge cathedral ceiling in it, and it's a big room and there's a lot of hard surfaces. I have concrete floors and you can just see all the windows that I have everywhere. This is not an ideal sound stage uh, for these speakers. But in spite of that, they do sound fantastic. And uh, I really think you should uh, feel confident in ordering these speakers because I just absolutely love them. They rock the house love it so i hope you found this helpful if you have any questions i'll try to answer them just leave a comment down below sure would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel make sure to ring that bell so you get instant notifications of new videos that i publish i hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you later